Ron back here with another product review. This is the um, the Star RC landing pad. Let me get it closer to the camera here. Uh, you know, for for drones, of course, I've done this. I've done other products for Star RC before. I've even done the landing pad uh, for them before. But as you can see, this box is a little bit bigger than what you're used to seeing. Um, this landing pad is uh, 65 centimeters by 65 centimeters or 25 inches by 25 inches if you're on the Imperial system. And it of course has the top side is uh, like an orange color and the bottom side is that light blue color. And you know this unfolds uh, into, you know, uh, so it folds up and out for easy compact to travel. Um, so uh, let's get this out and let's show you how this works and um, you know, then we're going to compare it with the the standard size um, landing pad from uh, Start RC. Okay, uh, be right back. All right, folks, I've got the um, the landing pad unboxed here, and right here you get uh, a set of um, we'll call them spikes, tie downs that you can uh, put through the brass ring hooks on the ends of the pad to keep them secure. This is the same type of hooks that the smaller. Um, Start RC landing pad came with uh, had, but th it didn't come with these little uh, these little hooks here. Let me uh, op unbox unbag one here. Huh. We've been unboxed now. We're going to unbag. We'll take a look at uh, one of them. See, so you, so you get a set of four, and here they are. It uh, put it close to the camera there. It uh, has you know uh, what would you call those things? Uh, uh, you know perforations uh, to you know then to keep it uh, in the ground when you press it down and has this you know top thing there makes it easy you know to push push it down with your thumb and fingers and kind of a sharp end to go in either uh, you know soft ground or sand or you know many different uh, surfaces so I said you get a set of four so we're gonna put that back in the bag now uh, you won't always need those but on a windy day they come in real handy so okay here's the landing pad itself and it comes wrapped uh, in a this uh, p protective paper here and I'll tell you the only downside I have after using my first start RC pad uh, you know for a couple months now and took it to the Green Florida drone meetup uh, this spring also is that uh, the plastic on here if you have it in real hot weather it'll it'll like stick so when you unfold it um, it, it can sometimes stick and even pull some of the uh, plastic up. So I would advise keeping something like this around so you could, you know, um, keep it, uh, wait, what's the word I want to say, you, you know, keep it covered, you know, while you have it folded up so uh, that in hot conditions it won't, um, you know, won't start sticking on you. So that happened to me, it may not happen to anybody else, but just a power tip there. So can, you can see the the size of this thing here. So this is going to be good for like a, a bigger type of a drone here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is you know, see, so you can fold it up real easy like this. See now I fold it down to a real compact size. So I'm ready for travel. Uh, it, it didn't come with a little case. My other one actually came with a little sack where this one doesn't. Uh, so, you know, it came with a you know, the spikes that I showed you, but not a sack so that gets you to survive one thing or another. So I, I definitely get something to put this in but anyhow so then you said you just unfold it real very easily you have the blue side and you have the orange side of course you have the the, the four rings around you know the edges here so you can put those spikes in and, and clip it down and uh, what you want to do is you want to use the color side that gives you the most contrast against what your surface like say when you're in the grass I mean the blue would be a good contrast even the orange would but if you're in like kind of a sand color thing the blue would present like much more contrast for the drone downward facing uh, cameras to see that than the orange would since the orange is you know in the same uh, color wheel as the uh, you know the, the sand or, or even like a brown dirt or whatever so uh, anyhow uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it looks like on the ground and fold and put some drones on it and we'll compare it to the smaller standard size uh, RC landing pad. Okay, be, as I always say, be right back. Alright folks, uh, I have both the pads down here. This is the new one I just showed you, the 25 inch by 25 inch larger one. And here's the standard size landing pad that they usually get. I don't know the dimensions or not. I'll put them down in the in the you know in the messages down below in the, in the description of the video but here's the bigger one so okay let's uh let's do a little testing here i got a couple drones over here on the side here 
Now here's the um, here's the Phoebe Mini drone. You know, you've uh, it's kind of just been it's kind of out new recently. It's uh, still kind of a hot drone to get here. It's a very small, like under 250 uh, gram drone. So uh, of course it fits on the smaller landing pad perfectly. So if you're if the Phoebe Mini is your only drone, this is probably the size landing pad that you need. But here, if you would put it on the bigger pad here, that yeah, pad sort of swallows it up there. It's uh, much too big for the, the little mini there. I mean, you can never be too big for drawing land on, but you could land like uh, six uh, Phoebe Minis on this pad here. But let me show you a larger size fold of drone that a lot of people have. Uh, this is the uh, this is the Altel Evo 2 Pro drone. Um, it's a um, one inch sensor, uh, 6K drone, uh, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles, a uh, big strong flyer in the wind, and you can see the, um, we're going to call it the measurements, uh, you know, all around here. I mean, it's, it takes up uh, from end to end, it's as, as wide as like a, a Phantom uh, 4 Pro with it all unfolded. Now, you put this on a small lane pad like this, and you see how it almost hangs off the side of the landing pad. And uh, but you move it to the bigger landing pad, and you see it's got a lot more room over here. And you say, well, why? You know, why you need all the room? Uh, a lot of these drones have uh, precision landing now. That means they come down, they see the landing pad, they try to land in the center of it. But you know, sometimes they don't always hit the center. So this this type of pad gives you know the Altel a little bit of room to miss that center mark. But over here. If it would miss the center mark, you know, it would be off the pad. It, it wouldn't have any room, you know, uh, for any variance here in, in this landing. Now, of course, you can manual land them too, but manual landing can be tough sometimes in a windy environment. You know, blows away at the last minute on you. So, again, with a bigger drone like this, the more spacious 25 by 25 inch landing pad will make uh, your landings, whether you're doing manually or precision landing, it's going to make it much easier for you and less risk of your drone winding up in sand, dirt, any type of uh, high grass, any type of bad environment for the drone because you, you don't, especially don't want to get any of that stuff in your uh, camera, your camera gimbal motors, uh, you know, your drone motors up top here. So, um, you know, this is, um, you know, it's a big advantage to the larger, uh, uh, you know, pad here for your drone. So um, that's about it. You, know, you can only make so much, uh, uh, you know, on a on a landing pad video here. But um, folks, I will um, you know, leave the links down below to purchase uh, you know both landing pads actually. But we're really concentrated on the bigger 25, 25 inch landing pad. Uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll put Amazon links down below. I make a small commission if anybody clicks on any of my affiliate links. Uh, so I want to point that out there. Um, I purchased pad on my own. I did not. I did not. You know, our source did not send it to me. So um, you know, uh, this is a, you know, uh, if honest review if it was a bad landing pad, I'd say so because I'm not being paid or given this landing pad. So um, okay, on the way out the door, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you'll be known you'll be alerted to any new videos that i have uh, coming out on drones and drones related products so uh with that you know uh go out and safe flying out there